Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? Where are the sports worldwide? Stephen, all I need from you before I say goodbye to you is uh, I need my semi-final fixtures. Who's going to be playing against you in the semis? First of all, I think that um, it's a time you, you've had your you've had your day. You thought Southern Hemisphere guys. It's going to be a Northern hem- Northern Hemisphere dominance. It's about time you were generous and let someone else win. So I think it's I think it'll be Fra- Fra- I think France and I will go through. But I'm go- I'm going to avoid Tando in case I'm wrong. <laughs> I take your word for it, Steve. So France Island to go through. Hashtag MSW is going to be out in France at the Rugby World Cup. As of Friday, we're broadcasting live from that site and also on Monday. So it's pre and post the game. So whatever happens. My rugby is very poor. But uh, what I can say is uh, I wish the box all the best. I wish they bring the cup home because they are our only uh, hope for anything in the World Cup. I'm originally from South Africa, but currently working and living in the US. Uh, follow your show and watch it on YouTube and I'm going to discuss the Rugby World Cup man um, it's crunch time now my brother uh, it's no more time for games Rossi must quit with the 7-1 split whatever we're going 5-3 man we have Lucanio arm back Andre Pollard back so we need them in the bench to replace the guys in the second half so yeah 5-3 split for the quarter final against France then we're winning the game it's crunch time Robert tomorrow once uh, we can get past that game I think everything will be in our hands. I cannot wait to join Mama Joy. I cannot wait to join Porta. Many South Africans were in France and back home. We are told you today we're more than 3 million South Africans. We must continue to rally behind of our national teams in India, our national teams in Paris. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Boomer FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. But and the Pirates, the champions of the MTN8 are here in studio. The trophies here, the players are here, the coaches here. Uh, do send us your WhatsApp voice notes. Nights and early because the hour is going to be gone before you know it. Uh, but let me give you a quick update. As you know, that it's a big, big weekend coming up as far as uh, the Rugby World Cup is concerned. And we want you to keep up to date. Scrum half, though, Aaron Smith has insisted uh, that New Zealand are a completely different team to the one that defeated Ireland in 2022. And also dismissing talk of revenge ahead of a mouth-watering World Cup quarterfinal. So what can be expected in the game? Ireland have enjoyed the upper hand in recent clashes with the formidable All Blacks, winning three of four meetings uh, during the Andy Farrell era, including last summer's landmark 2-1 success. What a time. Last year matters in the sense of taking the learnings, but I believe we're a totally different team to um, July last year. Um, got new coaches, and as a group, um, that series really galvanised us. And yeah, I can't wait for Saturday to see what happens. Yeah, for sure. They've heard that right. Um, their record in the last two years has really proved that. But um, we're at a World Cup. Um, we're playing in a final and it's all on the line. And, yeah, history's history. And history's going to get created on Saturday. And we'll see who comes out on top. Billy Vanapolo insists, though, that England will be happy to carry the public enemy number one tag when they face Fiji in the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals on Sunday. The Flying Fijians mix all power, skill as well, makes them many rugby fans' second favourite team. And also the neutrals in Marseille will certainly be hoping that uh, Simon Raulaiwu's uh, side progress to the semi-finals and England's expense. Now, the winner is going to be facing either the host, France, or defending champion, South Africa. In the last four, I wouldn't say Fiji is their second favorite team. I'd say England is their first, least favorite team. <laughs> so, um, in terms of being public enemy number one, we're happy to take that mantle on. Um, seen a lot of teams get talked up. Top four, apparently. Apparently, there's a top four now in rugby in in international rugby. I didn't know there was a table, but um, we're quietly going about our work and confidently, confidently going about our work and. Our game is is to play well against Fiji. If you give him an opportunity, it becomes tough. But it's not just him. You know, they've got other threats in terms of 
Jacklers, they've got Tui Sova, their nine lovers of dabble, um, and there are other players in and around their team that, if the opportunity arises, like Wiggy says, if we're off a little bit in terms of our breakdown, then they are one of the biggest threats around the breakdown, not just this weekend, but in world rugby. I'd be lying if I said it was easy, but what makes it better is that I know that the team's doing well, and that's the most important thing is the team progressing. And like Wiggy said, we're in the quarterfinals. That's the most important thing. I could easily be on a flight home having played 80 minutes every week. So um, I'd rather be in a team that is winning and is in a quarterfinal and happy to be part of it. days just to let it all sink in you know sometimes when it's too fresh it's too fresh uh, and they here in studio and I guess they reminded the South African football fraternity as well as uh, the kind of legacy that Orlando Pirates has and with more success in the MTN 8 this past Saturday Orlando Pirates did exactly that the Buccaneers victory over Mamelodi Sundowns not only broke a run of three defeats to the Brazilians, uh, but they have also enforced a few positives within the squad, especially after a recent run of pretty much indifferent performances. And what a team, though. I mean, they're proving to be under the tutelage of their Spanish coach, R Jose Rivera, who's here in studio with us, having only arrived in the country prior to the start of last season. I still remember his arrival. Uh, it was, what, July 2022? What, four months later? Man was making miracles, making pirates win things that they haven't been able to do in a while. And that's the kind of mentality that it brings. I mean, proving to be a great team is one thing. The depth as well that he has at his disposal when it comes to players. Look at how the man is also here. Defensive cog of Olisar and Da came in, played his heart out. Look at the young and brave goalkeeper who's also here in studio. China. I bet you this, if you'd said to football fans a year ago that this man would be the hero, retain Pirates' as MTN8, they wouldn't have believed you. And with the crowd filling the stadium to capacity, creating the kind of razzmatazz, that electrifying atmosphere. Start off with you as the coach, as the leader, as the senior in the house. Good to see you and congratulations. Thank you very much. Good to see you too. You're telling me a very interesting stat. You've only met three times in three studios in different places. How does that work? Well, I think uh, we we both we went through a, di <laughs> a different process uh, yeah, in our careers as well. Yes. And... Uh, well, recently, the last times that we have the opportunity to meet, it was with a, with a trophy in the studio, with a new one. And today is, is not an exception. I was saying to you, I was trying to be like you. Everything you've been doing has been in threes. So if it's three wins in a row, if it's three losses in a row, if it's three finals in a row, anything with three, you've been able to do. What's the next chapter of Jose Rivero? post the success. Have you had time? I mean, I know Saturday is just a couple of days back, but it must mean something when you look at the history of the club and how difficult it was for them to win these official trophies. Yeah, somehow, yes. But uh, to be honest, I don't, I'm not a person who spends so much time thinking about what is done mm -hmm. and what happened one year ago or what is our record in some tournament or the other. We try to to always look to the future, knowing that football, it, it's a topic, but when it's a topic, it's because it's, it's true, it's, it's always the last game. Yeah. And the last game was a memorable game for us. We will never forget it. 
none of the players, none of the coaching member, uh, coaching staff members uh, who was there in Durban, our fans, and probably, um, for sure, the people who was following the game mm. in, in mm. TV will ever forget that game because it was an epic uh, victory for Pirates. There's no doubts about it. But at the same time, uh, it was an opportunity for us to prove ourselves as a team, mm. for the players to prove and show the level that they have when probably many people was doubting about ourselves, about these players in the, in the recent weeks. And there's a way to continue now for us. We want to keep that level until the end, knowing that in that level uh, we are a difficult, very difficult team to play against. And that's what we are thinking right now. We have to start uh, almost immediately to, to compete and fight for the, for the next trophy, which is the Black Label Cup. And it's time to, to recover distance also in the league. Interesting you say that because I remember you've mentioned in the past that you you tend you tend to believe in what we do rather than what I do, quote unquote. Those were your words. So you, you're not believing so much in the single human being, which is you. You're believing in the team, the collective, the technical team, the individual contributions as well. Tell me about, a bit about that philosophy, where it spurns from, and whether you do have the collective mind of everybody working towards the goal that you as the leader have. I think that's, that's the only way to to do it in a in a consistent way and in a way that it will continue after myself. It it might be stupid from me to think that you know I'm I'm the most important person there and because what's happening when I'm not there. I mean, I think our obligation as a coach as a coaching staff is is push the 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 club project, try to improve the the the, the club history, understanding that one day we will not be there and the things must continue in a certain way, not so different. I think the clubs uh, are not doing the, the, the right thing when the things change because of the name of the coach or the style of the coach or the philosophy of the coach. I think we as a coaches, we need to adapt ourselves to, to the club plans, to the club process, at our knowledge, our capacities, our expertise, but always with that collective mentality that we are not as important as sometimes the people think that we are, that we, we can do our own magic there and our own ideas and that's it. So that's the way I try to understand my job. Yeah. Uh, the nature of my job is to be in there and help my players. They are the real... Um, protagonist of this game and our role as a coaching staff not only as a head coach everybody else around is to help them to be better players and help them to contribute to the idea that we want to propose and uh, that's the only way that can be useful our role and the players they are very smart they 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 quick understand if we can help them or we don't so that's how i understand my my profession I mean, I'll, I'll get to the psychological part. I think that's what you mentioned when everybody spoke about the whole Juanen game and how you took your man of the match in the next game off, which shows, you know, the impact of understanding the coach's instruction and understanding what the coach really wants from you. Sipo, good to see you. Welcome for the first time on the platform. Uh, good to see you, Dad. Good evening, Rob, and thanks for having me tonight. And the winner is MTN8, and the winner is Man of the Match. All in one night, <laughs> you know, these accolades come through. And just the, 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 the praise is the respect that you got. What did that mean for you? And, and firstly, congratulations. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Barob. Uh, I think personally from, from myself, uh, it hasn't been an easy journey. And... I think it it wouldn't be uh, uh, how can I put it? It wouldn't be uh, just a a single day of of me having a good game and having uh, my first man of the match at Pirates or whatever. But uh, my journey hasn't been easy, and uh, I was glad that I could help the team in the way that I that I could this past weekend. Uh, whenever I'm called for, yeah. You repeated it twice. 
you're forcing me to ask you, why do you say it hasn't been easy? What made it the most difficult? Uh, I think uh, on a personal level, uh, from where I come from, uh, as as you know, my my journey in in the game, uh, it hasn't been a, a, an easy one, uh, and uh, there's a lot of challenges that uh, I I've always had to deal with. Uh, coming from, uh, if I may say, uh, without disrespect to much smaller teams, uh, coming into an environment like Orlando Pirates, uh, you know, without, as people may say, without the enough experience, enough to represent a, a club like Orlando Pirates. Yeah. Uh, and coming in and, I mean, from the coach giving me the confidence to do the job and, it's always it's always gonna play in your head uh, that uh, you know uh, it's you're not gonna be you're not gonna come here and and own the place. Mm. You, you're not you're not you're not the type of person that that is required from the football club, as as yeah. people may say. But I'm just glad that uh, God works in mysterious ways, and today uh, here I am. And here you are, and rightfully so. We'll talk after the break and find out how. When Steve Combella speaks, I think a lot of people <laughs> listen. You know what I'm talking about. Instagram reaching out, how you received that. There's positives. There's a lot of excitement. There's voice notes. It's a celebration. The champions are here in studio. Um, and, uh, I'll get a word from him. We'll get lots of words. We'll have a conversation. There's no interview, guys. So you must relax. You must chill like you were doing earlier on. And also don't forget that uh, tomorrow marks our big track as we head off to the Rugby World Cup. I'll share with you, Coach Jose Rivera, how many Rugby World Cups he's watched. Um, interesting facts. <laughs> We've been watching Portugal. <laughs> hey, people didn't give Portugal a chance. And what a I, I mean, I don't even know if you watched that game against Fiji, but I thought best game of the tournament. Um when, when you give heart, when you give your everything up until the last minute, that is what we saw. Uh, but maybe there's similarities, coach. I'm not trying to convert you into a rugby coach now. <laughs> this Friday the 13th. <laughs> be very afraid. <laughs> as Robert Marawa and Tanda Manana take over the streets of France. <laughs> Catch Marawa Sports Worldwide live at the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals. And he scores a fantastic try. Kickstarting all the action with a special live broadcast on Friday, 13 October. South Africa have their bonus point try. And again on Monday, 16 October, featuring all the exclusive interviews and the all day live crossings on various shows. Marawa Sports Worldwide Rugby World Cup Takeover yeah. with Robert Marawa and Tondo Manana. Hashtag MSW in France. From only 819900, the Ford Teneo Custom boasts a comprehensive list of features that allow you to chase adventure at every turn. Like flexible seating for eight people, rear seat climate control, six-speed auto transmission, an economical two-litre diesel engine, an infotainment system with a touchscreen, and dual side doors, which make loading in your family and friends a breeze. The Ford Teneo Custom, from only 819900. Now at your nearest Ford dealer, only while stocks last. TNCs apply. Let's talk. Let's talk unlimited local calls and SMSs, including 10 gigs of anytime data for only $299 per month. Introducing MTN Superflex, the first mobile plan that breaks you free from limitations. You get to choose how much data you want and the freedom to change your plan using the MTN app. Join today and enjoy a six-month Disney Plus mobile subscription on us. No paperwork, no contracts, no credit checks, and you get to cancel anytime. Now that's a flex. Exclusively available on mtn.co.za. TCC Supply. What are we doing today, MTN? Playbet.coza for boosted odds on the Rugby World Cup, cricket, soccer and tennis. Playbet for aviators daily rains and up to 10 million rand in instant payouts. Playbet for lucky numbers and over 550 live games. Play the game on Playbet.coza. Winners know when to stop. National Responsible Gambling Program toll-free helpline 0800-006-008. No persons under the age of 18 allowed to gamble. Licensed and regulated by the Mpumalanga Economic Regulator. It was pitch black when Joe took out the trash. He sidestepped Zoe's bicycle, the neighbor's cat, and the shovel. But his luck ran out when he tripped over the empty generator. Oh! 
When life happens, you don't need luck when you're with the medical aid that gives you value for money. Switch to BestMed, three-time Titanium Award winner for excellence in creating access to quality healthcare. Visit bestmed.co.za. BestMed Medical Scheme is an authorized FSP. Some nights when picking up my daughter from hockey, I feel uneasy. That's why I have my guard from my way to keep us safe. At the touch of a button, a security guard is sent to my location immediately for just 59 rand a month. Now that's value for money. Move for value. Move to my way today and get my guard for 59 rand per month for you and three family members. For a quote, visit myway.co.ca today or SMS MOVE to 44430. My guard is a value-added service. Standard rates and T's and C's apply. Step into the magical world of Africa Rare and discover the Abada Rewards Program. The Abada, a legendary double-horned unicorn, has the power to unlock incredible luck and rewards. I'm talking Gold's Gym Platinum Memberships, Apple AirPods, Adidas Paddle Rackets, Robux Gift Vouchers, Digital Collectibles, and even your very own piece of virtual land. Visit africarare.io, sign up, and start collecting your Abadas today to unlock incredible rewards. Infamous Room Dividers. This is the good life. The good life. Welcome to the Room Dividers. Firstly, Mr. Manana, passport ready? Passport is ready. I just double checked, Rob. I always worry about the Schengen <laughs> visa, so it's still ongoing. Uh, even the language, a bit difficult. My yeah, what, what have you learned since the last time? No, it, it, has, <laughs> it has evaporated, that French. The wee, wee. No, 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 please, no wee in case. No, no, no. Please avoid the one thing you did last time. They had to ask you to leave the full chicken that you brought <laughs> on board because you weren't aware that they serve these things for free. So you have to buy it because they have to seal it. There's nothing wrong. No, please just avoid it, though. The one you took there, it was not even cooked. But let's leave it there. This is the good life. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Good evening, Robert Marawa, uh, in Escort. Uh, firstly, Marawa, I would like to congratulate uh, Ama Paganiya. I'm a die supporter of Orlando Pirate. Uh, they did us proud on the weekend. Uh, to coach, my coach, Rivero, uh, thank you very much, uh, coach, for adding value to our football. You know, I like your calmness, the way you are so calm. Whether we lose or whether we win, you're such a very calm coach, you know. So thank you very much, coach, for adding value to our football. Uh, coming to Oli Sanda. Oli Sanda, Fanagit, you are a top notch defender. I never doubted you. You came in on Saturday. Uh, you've done your job. So I'm very proud of you, Vanagiti. Keep up the good work. Uh, to Sipo Chaine, uh, Sipo Chaine, Vanagiti, uh, what you did uh, on Saturday, I never expected from you who to Nganza listen to this Saturday. Uh, but my advice to you, Vanagiti, uh, you must continue working hard and remain humble. Don't get carried away by saving those three penalties. Uh, the journey is still very long. So congratulations to Orlando Pirate. Uh, we are very proud. We are very proud about you guys. Uh, and we are very happy. Thank you. I want to bring in the man that we haven't spoken to, Olisanda. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, bro. Rob. Thank you for having me. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. So when you, when you are saying Mpanagiti, you're understanding what he's saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> hey. So yeah, I think I hear a lot of the guys saying it, so it's yeah. like um, uh, the, a younger one or something like that. Yeah, my bro, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's the only way I can, <laughs> as I can tell, you know, <laughs> in that mix. Well, firstly, welcome to the show. Such a, such a great pleasure to have you. Um, lots of praises post the MTN8 final. For you, what does it mean? I mean, you've got the whirlwind. You, you've had the injuries. You've had the two years off. You've had the almost trip to Swaziland in Spain. You, there's a lot of things that have almost happened, but yeah. didn't happen. <laughs> but this has happened. What does that mean? Yeah, it means um, we're, we're pushing to our goals. You know, um, we've really been working hard. You know, we're trying to work on what the coach has been giving us during the week and. Yeah, I think it finally paid off because the guys showed a lot of character in the game. Um, even before I came in, there was a lot of fights yeah. from the guys. And yeah, I really appreciated that moment. 
what is the instruction? Because clearly whatever coach said. Yeah, do we 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 have a style of playing and yeah, I think during the game and due to the conditions we had to adjust and change into a certain way. So yeah, we're just happy it paid off. It was a game that when you're sitting on the bench, what were you reading? What were you reading was lacking? What were you reading the fans wanted that they were not getting or the coach was wanting but he wasn't getting? I think the coach wanted us to play more, but um, what I first noticed was the wind. Yes. Even during warm-up, I noticed like the wind and yeah, I knew it was going to be a problem because um, the field is very open. And then that was the first thing I noticed and I spoke to CBC and, yeah. and Tapelo and I was like, they should watch like the wind to our side because it's going to push the ball too fast. Yeah, and yeah, and that's what I noticed first. It's that God's window. You know, at Moses Mabiri, you got that God's window that's there yeah. that is open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be like a, a beautiful feature for the World Cup back in 2010. But my goodness, as a coach, how do you feel about that? Because that's an obvious inlet of that gust of wind to be honest I, I didn't i didn't even want to believe it you know what you can anticipate in the warm-up what's going to happen in yeah. the game and you can easily see that it's gonna affect too much to to the normal development of the game especially to teams like like uh, pirates and sundowns you know in the end it, it's a, it's a huge condition and like like olisa said you know in a final is the most important thing mm. that you, you can stay in the game whatever happened, even if the weather conditions are are conditioning the game the way that did it. Um, it's it's a huge condition when you are attacking because allowed the, the the opponent to press even more aggressive than usually. Sundowns is a team that uh, press very aggressively, but with with the wind behind, the possibility for you to go behind the lineback is not there anymore mm -hmm. because if you try to play behind, the ball is coming back to you. So you have to take the risk to combine very close to your goal, and and sometimes it's not working, and it's a, it's a very very difficult situation to deal with it. Mm. And uh, I'm sure that the game was even more demanding cognitive. The cognitive demand was higher than the conditional demand for the players to make decisions under that pressure. So yeah, it's, it's in my opinion, like I said also after mm. the game, it's the worst condition that you can find in a football game: the wind. How does that affect your communication? Because then you want to maybe try to get Sipo involved in slowing down play. You want any of the players to maybe change a certain style of play that you've introduced, but you're finding that the communication is that much more difficult. What creative ways have you figured out to get bypass that? No, usually the communication is only possible with the closest players that you have on the bench, usually the wings and, and the fullbacks. Uh, to be honest, I have some more clear communication with some of the players, depending who is on the field. There are players that they understand quick. Sign language? Yeah, sign language. Yeah. They, they, they have more, some players have more capacity to understand what's happening on the game and anticipate those actions. And so also, like mannerism, sorry to cut in, Coach, because I know some people are watching on YouTube, like things like this and, you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Sometimes we use a piece of paper also to pass through. Uh, what's a game with a lot of interruptions as well, with the physios coming in early in the game, we are almost immediately with uh, Kermit, then with CBC and, mm. and we use that moment to, to try to communicate uh, with our players. And sometimes they, they, what they give you back is a signal that they understand what you are saying and they don't, but they don't have also, <laughs> <laughs> no, let, let's be honest, it's normal, you know. Because you remember the derby, so it's a derby. That, that's impossible. No, no, yeah, I think, Sipo. You remember a gentleman by the name of Abongile Tom, a gentleman who was coaching, <laughs> I mean, who was refereeing again this past weekend. Was he not in charge of the derby? Yeah, yeah, he was. Did he not come to you yeah. in a moment that if any other referee had been refereeing that game, they would have never picked up on it? I mean, obviously it's, it's tactics, it's smart play, it's a derby, you do all sorts of crazy things. He went down and, and he stayed down. Play carried on. Referee did not care. Stayed down. Ambongi Tom went to him and said to him, 
you need to get up now. There's nothing wrong with you. You need to get up now. You remember that moment? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember it very well. Talk me through that because sometimes that's why I say that, you know, football is, is about some of the finer things and the beauty about being at the stadium is, is seeing what the camera doesn't show people back at home. And here you are, you met the guy again in the final over the weekend. But yeah, just give me a rundown. That moment firstly and then obviously the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think I said it over the weekend uh, post uh, post match. Uh, I just uh, said uh, I loved and appreciated how much uh, oh the referee Bongile Tom manages the game. Yeah, I think uh, he's one of the best referees we have. Absolutely. And uh, in those kind of moments, <laughs> you have to be very very clever to see the certain things that we try to do as, as, as players or as the technical team or as the coach. And he, he picks them up very well. Mm-hmm. And I think it comes with the experience, if I may say. And yeah, he, he had a, a very good game. There's very small things that he picks up in the game that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah even the past weekend. <laughs> yeah, I think I was booked for, for time wasting, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, you were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And certain moments in a game you wait for and you know that it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> you try to avoid it, but <laughs> it's the nature of the game. It wasn't easy. I love that, though, because you, you look at the evolution of the game and how referees are part of it. And I've learned referees also do as much homework. They watch as many games as you would as an analyst or anybody else so that they understand what is does favorite trick that he does so that when he does do it they are on top of it because yeah. they have gone through the footage and footages before so they prepare themselves some of the top referees not everybody does that but just a straightforward one i think a lot of people want to know okay cbc who have you found to be a good partner who are you partnering with is that a tough question to ask you tell me i think i i've played with both of them and i'm very comfortable with both of them yeah I think um, whoever I'm playing with or they're playing with, they're very comfortable because we have each other's back and we cover for each other. And then we have a good relationship also of the field also. Yeah. yeah. So whoever is playing at the back, we are very confident, uh, confident with each other. So that off-season trip helped a lot of people to yeah. understand each other. Yeah, There's... we spent more time together, yeah, and we understood each other, yeah. So you won more trips? <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, good evening, Bra Rob. Don Alicia's here all the way from my Dali. Um I just want to congratulate Orlando Pires for being the champions of uh, MTN eight. Uh, I think you know it's 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 awesome uh, to lift a new trophy, guys. You know, uh, big up to you guys, big up to you. Um, you really fought, yeah, you really fought. And uh, Coach Rivero uh, is one of the best coaches, uh, one of the best coaches that we have in, 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 in the PSL. So, yeah, I think he's going far. Uh, this man is going far, far, far with the team Orlando Pirates. Good luck, guys, and all the best again. Yeah, we'll get the coach to respond. How far? How far can he go? Good evening, Rob. <laughs> Good evening to the champions. Uh, coach Jose. I um, mean, you're very thankful for cheating for a club. And uh, I was very happy to see all this uh, um, coming on. He gave like a 100% commitment to that game. And then Sipo, you're the best goalkeeper. That was a great performance. But then Sipo, I mean, I, I, I'm calling you Sipo, I don't know I use your surname. But can you please tell the, tell the country what exactly is your surname? But my name is Makoya. Huh? Your name is Makoya. You know, sounds like someone you know. No? No, no. <laughs> Is that a big issue for you? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> Do you want to answer that? My surname? Yeah. My surname is Chain. And not Chain. <laughs> As in Iketan. Iketan. Yeah, so you leave the E at the end. Yeah. Okay. Origins? I know it's free state, but yeah. origin, origin. Free state. Yeah. Okay. So you see, we need to do a profile with you one of these days. <laughs> you dodged us when you were Chipper United. <laughs> but we'll catch up. Okay, here's some advice. I don't know if this guy's a goalkeeper or former goalkeeper, but he seems to know a thing or two. 
Samarawa, good evening. Simpio X here from Tembisa. Thank you so much for hosting the champions. Uh, champions, good evening. Um, thank you so much for making us proud on Saturday. Uh, quick one, uh, Sipo China. Uh, you did well. You did us proud. But man, please, man, release the ball on time. I heard the coach saying that it was... It is, in fact, it is his instructions to let you play the ball or delay the play. And then as for Olisanda, thank you so much. You're such a great player. Um, I, I've actually made peace with the fact that you won't be there at Orlando Paris for far too long. Um, Europe is calling. That's your next destination. You are, you are, you are such a, a smart defender. Very prolific. Thank you so much. Uh, as for coach, uh, thank you so much. But I must say we are so disappointed with our early exit from the KF Champions League. But anyway, we still have uh, uh, another, another try. So we still have another try. It's not all lost. Simpure X here. Simpure X, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> it's, it's it's lukewarm, it's mixed, it's honest, it's all of those things. Um, Coach, maybe let me start with you. Handling the different expectations. Expected to do well. Be in the top eight. Be a big challenger to Sundowns win trophies, be in the Champions League, get the second star. How, how do you mix this? Otherwise, we wake up in the morning as a paper. Ah, coach's job is on the line. Coach is going to be fired if he doesn't win the next game against Pulawan. Is it whatever it is? But that's the reality you face. How does coach handle it? Uh, with commitment. Commitment with, uh, with the players. Uh, as long as I'm on charge. Whatever happened, I have to stand up and help them because I can be the sometimes a kind of a shield yeah. for them as well. And and that's my job. I don't like I said before, and it's, it's not an empty talk. I'm not I'm not thinking the moment I can have a moment of drama mm. after one defeat like like our our game against Juanen. Mm. But I'm not a person who is adding drama to the drama. It takes a few hours to, to get rid of that feeling. And after that, you have to continue and think about what's coming next. Uh, and there's nothing I can do to change the, the opinions around my job or my decisions. Mm. But at the same time, I will never allow uh, the, the opinion of people that, that I don't know to, to affect my day or affect my decisions or the way that I have to to understand my job. So, I, in my opinion, it's not fair. It's the same advice that I try to share with my players. And and that's the only way. Consistency. you going to go for a break. Could have come back from the break. We chat more uh, to Against the Champions. Orlando Pirates in studio. My first time getting to see this trophy, man, in person. Hmm. Beautiful <laughs> piece of work, <laughs> eh? How, how how heavy is it, actually? I know I'm not supposed to touch Betty, it. It's just, Betty. Ah, I'm trying with one hand. Yo, there. Got it. Sure. I think it's a lot. It's a lot that goes in here. How do you feel after a game, you're trying to lift this thing and it's like you're doing a bench press? <laughs> ah, okay. a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. You come back from the break. You continue our conversation. Lots of voice notes. Robert Marawa. Get more attention again this weekend. And Tando Manana. That's where we're getting it now. Take over the streets of France. That flies in for the Rainbow Nation. Catch Marawa Sports Worldwide live at the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals during France versus the Box and Ireland versus New Zealand, featuring all the behind the scenes. The Box preparation, the exclusive interviews, and the all day live crossings and various shows. Don't miss the action packed reaction on Monday, 16 October, with all the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals review and reaction. It's got it for South Africa. Marawa Sports Worldwide Rugby World Cup takeover was Robert Marawa. Let's go! And Tando Manana. Hashtag MSW in France. Don't you wish you can swap your old phone for a brand new foldable one? Get the Galaxy Z Flip 5 today. Trade in your old phone and get a guaranteed 15,000 Rand cash back into your pocket. Samsung Trade-In really is the easiest and most affordable way to get the phone you want. Visit Samsung.com for more information and quick steps to follow. The new Galaxy Z Flip 5. Join the flip side. T's and C's apply. Adrian's Bucky could beast through anything. Rivers, mountains, beasted right through them. 
platform fence? I mean, yeah, accidentally beasted through that too. But then came an obstacle it couldn't beast. His new hybrid working job. Now, every other day, his beast is just hibernating in the garage. If your car's spending more time at home, you should be spending less on your premium. Save up to 20% with SmartPark. Visit suntum.co.za to get a quote. Suntum is an authorized FSP, a licensed non-life insurer and controlling company for its group companies. Enjoy the ultimate entertainment with Hollywood Bets' 25 Rand and 50 free spins sign-up bonus. Play games like Hot Hot Hollywood Bets and more. Sign up today and take a spin with Hollywood Bets. T's and C's apply. Hollywood Sportsbook is a licensed betting operator. Hollywood Bets supports responsible gambling. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Winners know when to stop. South African Responsible Gambling Foundation toll-free counseling line 0800-006-008 or WhatsApp help to 076-675-0710. Hey, what up, family? Jay something here. Listen, I've got some exciting news. You know it's going down on the 10th and 11th of November. The Music and Lifestyle Expo is happening right here in Santon at the Convention Center. I'm going to be there with a host of other people. We're celebrating music and everything lifestyle and I'd love for you guys to come by I'm going to be performing with Mikasa and I'm going to be doing a little master class around some of the dishes that we make here at Artistry so I'd love to connect with you guys if you want to find out more information hit the link in the bio lots of love welcome to cooking with Ute and be the show where we make Zanzi's favorite foods today pap and Vors yo I burnt the Vors the stain will take forever to clean ice kawara new sunlight dishwashing liquid can cut through tough grease fast Introducing the most powerful sunlight dishwashing liquid ever. Now, boosted with bi-enzyme technology that removes 100% of tough grease and burned-on stains. Sure, that tough burned-on stain came up so easily. Sunlight, more than you expect. Hi, you've reached Harold's Relationship Hotline. What's got you in a tizzy? Harold is Cyril. I'm in a state of emergency. I don't know. Tell me ASAP, Mr. P. It's my work buddy. I forgot his birthday today. He's my right-hand man, the V to my P. Okay, no need to call in the army. Just get same-day delivery with Ned Florist and we'll get a lovely Jamison man crate to him before you can say, my fellow South Africans. Same day. Sure. Now, that's what I call service delivery. Mm-hmm. Presidential smooches. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Esports Arts and Culture Minister Elze Zigodwa gave us all the much needed updates, uh, saying that the looming sanctions from the World Anti Doping Agency WADA will not have any impact on South African sporting teams' participation at various international competitions currently. Well, what is very clear, obviously, Rob, there was anxiety, and I think uh, there was also an appreciation that uh, the steps have been taken by the department on behalf of government working with the states and other relevant stakeholders. They, they do also appreciate that there was agency to expedite the process so that South Africa does not uh, avoid to risk the consequences as outlined in water declaration. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. And that is why today we declare them uh, the MTN8 uh, champions, defending champions, reigning champions, reclaiming champions, whatever champions. They've got the trophies right here in the studio. The YouTube channel going absolutely crazy right now. Um, let me see. True love. As Kawini says, hello, Mapagania. Salute you guys. Well done. I'm a Sundowns fan. What a game. Thank you. Enjoy the victory. You deserve it. Uh, Lukaku says, you guys are the real champions, so now let us focus on the future. Uh, Banda, this is Kutani Banda, says, hello, Rob, greetings, the champions in the studio and the coach. Please uh, play Olisa and uh, more often. He's cool, he's calm, he's collected at the back. Hey, I think both of you guys have been told today that you're cool, you're calm, and you're collected. Maybe Olisa didn't give you a chance to respond to that comment. And somebody was just remarking about your style of play, saying that it's not going to be long since we, until we lose you to somewhere in Europe. Is that true? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I'm just focused on right now, you know. Um, I'm focused on what I can achieve with this great club. And yeah, I'm just here to work for the club, yeah. give my best for my coaches and my fellow teammates and that's all I'm focused on right now. 
I must credit Sis Tandy for doing a great job of media training. That's a brilliant answer. <laughs> brilliant answer that you've given right there. Let's take a caller. Um, Toby C joining us in DK. Good evening, I'm Toby C. Hey, how's it, man? I'm good, man. You want to chat to the champs? Oh, Robert, my homeboy from Canada. This is Robert. <laughs> it's about, about coach. Thank you so much, bro. That's all, Robert. <laughs> all right. Well, last, last, thing, uh, last thing to our coach, can you please beat Chiefs for us? Beat Chiefs for you. Bonus. Beat yeah. Chiefs for us. Yeah. We haven't beaten Chiefs in a long time. Thank you. November's around the corner. Don't worry. Um, he'll take your instruction. Uh, beat Chiefs for So that's a fan tactical applying individual players in certain positions and preferences and so on. Um I think Bunar is one of the case points that he uses. How would you respond to that? I don't want to ask you anything on top of that question. So when you get given a set of opinions like that about how you set up your stall, what's the response? First of all, you need to understand that we 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 going through information that that they don't have uh, we're not playing we're not playing a video game uh, we're talking about humans and they are not always 100 percent ready to play unfortunately mm. uh, so that makes a lot of difference in in terms of who is selected or not obviously as a fans we all have our favorites and we would like to see them always on the field when we go to the stadium when we when we watch the game in tv but uh, sometimes it's, it's a coach decision. I don't run away of that responsibility. But uh, it's also true that sometimes the player is just, just not available mm -hmm. or is not 100% or some other player is doing better than their favorite. favorite. Uh, luckily, we have a squad full of quality and it's, it's, it's always a good team, the team that is going outside to play. But I understand the, the fan the fans' uh, perspective as well. But they should also understand that, uh, yeah, the decisions mm -hmm. are always made uh, with the information that we have, and always with the intention to to fight for the for the points or fight mm -hmm. for the for the game and, and win the game. So, probably you've dealt with this. So, while we talk about uh, fans and their involvement, and maybe at times expectations. <coughs> You get an instruction, and then they start howling, wanting you to play the ball quicker, um, release the ball quicker. But your instruction is something different. How, how do you respond, react, deal with that? I think, uh, personally, over the last <laughs> couple of months, it's funny how we've been, we, we spoke about this uh, with the coach earlier today. Oh, <laughs> tell us more. <laughs> no, yeah, that, uh, you know, it's from a player's perspective. It's not. It's not very easy. Yeah. Uh, because you can imagine if there's roughly forty-five thousand people in a in a packed stadium and there's one person to make the decision. Mm -hmm. That is. That has been pre-planned in training, in preparation, and it looks like you're doing your own thing. But it's something that that we work on uh, as a team, and and is a clear instruction from the coach. So. Mm -hmm. When I get into games, I'm not just going out there and doing my own thing. It's just uh, for the benefit of the team, and it's just how we trying to do some things uh, as a as a football club at the moment. I mean, are you a a, a fan communicator? I know it's a it's a crazy sounding question, but w when I look back at the history of some of the Orlando Pirates goalkeepers, uh, William Okpara, would at times you know given his personality, look back, you know, almost like talk to the fans, tell them to come down because it's an instruction. 
Um, back in the days, the Patton Banda was also like a fan communicator of some sort. Uh, the late Senzo Meiwa was, uh, to a large extent, also somebody who could rile up the fans and get them to say, hey, guys, you're too quiet, we're winning. Where are you? We need you right now. Where do you place yourself in that, in that different ladder of goalkeeping? <laughs> uh, for, my, for myself, uh, I think, like you said earlier, uh, with the goalkeepers that you, that you've already na uh, named, uh, as, as coming up growing up, uh, watching the likes of Senzo, yeah, I think when I watched him, he was at a space where he was captain, and and he had the backing of <laughs> of the supporters. But if you might think about it, when he started off. It wasn't the case, so I think personally, I think I'm also in in that space where where supporters will get to understand what we're trying to do as a as a team and as a as a club as as players, and they'll get to understand what type of person I am and what what type of football we're trying to play. And as soon as they get that, then mm -hmm. I think they'll get more of me. Yeah. You said something very important, and I think it's what we talked about off air. Simple thing. One-on-one -on -one profile chat with you, getting to understand you, getting you to understand the fan, because the expectations always are two-way. Uh, so we'll park that. It's an off-air conversation, but I think it is important, given your profile, where you are, where you're going. And we're coming to your birthday celebration, by the way, in December. So uh, we, we gate crashing. Uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll be there. What is it for you? National team. Super Eagles. Is that something imminent? Are they calling? Are they having a conversation with you? Tell me the status currently. Um, I think um, the last time I got invited, but well, um, I couldn't go because yeah. of my injury. But... Um, you know, my, my country, we have a lot of players. There's a lot of players in the in Euro Bundesliga and Premier League. So it's very difficult to break into the team. But I'm just like really focused on myself right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Trying to give my best always and put up a good performance in each game I'm called up to play. And yeah, and hopefully everything will fall into place. But if you had to be objective, and you, you're a fake guy. Okay. Right now. Do you think you deserve a call up? No, not. No, because I I just came back too and, soon. Yeah, and I just played one game. So yeah. people have been playing like the whole season. So yeah, I don't think I deserve a call up right now. Okay, but the bigger objective for you from a national team perspective would be what and how soon? Um, I think as soon as I start playing and yeah, I'm consistent and yeah, hopefully I get yeah. an opportunity. So you're indirectly talking to the coach. To no, I'm not talking to the coach. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. We won't get you into trouble. Hi, Robbie. Uh, Bongani here from Nowspray. Uh I'd like to comment on uh, our coach, Rodani Mkwena. He's been making statements statement, uh, that better team lost. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say uh, uh, the better team lost. I'd say it was a 50-50 game. Uh, unfortunately, the wind uh, uh, played a role, never made it easy for the players to play their natural ball game. Um, Pirates also created uh, plenty of chances, uh, could have buried it there in the end. I'd say our coach uh, stuck to his plan and, uh, and he executed it very well. So I really, really, really think uh, Rulani is just, uh, uh, he's just not uh, appreciating what uh, Pirates have put in behind closed doors or behind the scenes as to the hard work they put in. Uh, I'd say he needs to uh, just applaud Pirates and then move on from here. Well, the better team lost. Is that a thing? Do you address such comments, coach? I'm not used to add comments to other comments, uh, to be honest. I yeah. think it's uh, fair to have uh, different opinions. and Especially, it's difficult for the coaches when we have to tell our opinion straight after one game, even if we are only fighting for three points yeah. because the emotion's still there. It's 
just straight after the last the last whistle in a final. I can tell you that usually my perspective about the game it changes when I get home and I, and I have the opportunity mm -hmm. to to have a look of the game. Usually, I feel much more comfortable and peaceful with the game that the guys develop when I have the opportunity to to watch it again. We're going to have a conversation soon, coach, and I look forward to it. Um, there's a lot to break down. I think your infusion of young players into the squad um, is one of those. And I'm not going to mention names, though, but there have been some very exciting players that you've put out that I don't think coaches ordinarily would have, especially how South African teams are very scared to introduce anybody who has 19, 18, 17 attached to them. You've got to be breaking into the team at 25, 28. That's what South Africans have become comfortable with. So we'll have that chat. How are you going to celebrate still? Have you done the celebrations? Are you over now? Are you focusing on what? Is it 27th against Puriguan? Yeah, you're right. I'm already focusing in what's coming. We have time to celebrate. The, mo the, 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 the happiness is only happiness when you can share it with with other people and yeah. we have we have the opportunity straight after the game to celebrate together calmly i have to say it was you know a professional celebration but we were i think all very happy to to have the opportunity to to do it together yeah and and that's all well done coach well done finally 10 seconds on your side goalkeeper steve compella in his words what is he saying to you and in his tone, what is he saying? <laughs> hey, you guys, you know how you communicate on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've had uh, a couple of conversations uh, far before yeah. this moment when Coach Steve was in was in Bloemfontein, and <laughs> yeah, it was just reminding me of yeah. of yeah those conversations that we had back then. Okay, <laughs> we'll bring it to the people when you come back. Stinda, you've celebrated, you're good, you're ready to show that you want to be in the starting lineup, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it starts with the next game. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Unbelievable. We are done. Thank you so much, man. So many voice notes, guys. I know. Didn't play them. Couldn't play them. Thanks for the comments on social media platforms, on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, hopefully. You know what, guys? Stand by because tomorrow the chairman of Chippa United, Mr. Chippa Mbengesi, will be live in studio. Robert Marawa, get more attention again this weekend. And Tando Manana. That's where we're getting it now. Take over the streets of France. That flies in for the Rainbow Nation. Catch Marawa Sports Worldwide live at the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals during France vs. The Box and Ireland vs. New Zealand, featuring all the behind-the-scenes. The Box preparation, the exclusive interviews and the 